Hi guys, good morning. Today we'll see connect your agent force org with the uh, flag. So we have a uh, four units. Let's see one by one. So first one is what uh, prepare your uh, agent force uh, org. Okay, so we have to create a, a new agent force uh, org. Just to click on here, develop edition org with the product uh, specialist agent. Click on this. Fill all the details, then click on here, sign me up. Enter all the details, then click on here, sign me up button. You will receive an email regarding this account, this org. Right, so reset your org password. Yeah, done. So I received uh, an email. So just click on here, verify account. And you need to reset your password. Just enter the details and uh, Just enter the details and uh, change your password. All right. So once you created an org and once you verified your org, then what we have to do, you need to connect your playground. Just you can go down. And here we have a connect org is there. Click on that connect org. Then provide that uh, username and password. Click on here, hello. Click on here, uh, save it. That's it. And then after, just you can go down, launch your new playground. So next, what we have to do, so we need to enable Einstein setup, Einstein boards and uh, agent force uh, agents. Just you can go here, setup. What's that? Einstein setup. Einstein setup. Click on here, turn on Einstein, turn on Einstein, and then after what? Uh, Einstein boats. Einstein boats. Right. So top right we have Einstein board, so toggle button is there now. Just enable that. And then after agent force agents. Agent force uh, agents. Top right we have toggle switch, just uh, enable that. And uh, in the bottom we have uh, the default agents also is there. You can enable that one also. That's it. And uh, then after so install the Slack platform connector. So here we have uh, the given one link. There was this is there now. So this is the link. Just click on that. Click on that. Just how to provide your a username and password. Just provide your username and password. Then click on here login. Now. Select uh, install for all users, install for all users, then click on here, install. Just to how to check this uh, confirmation also, check this checkbox, then click on here, install. So it will take some time, it will take some few minutes, right? So once you got this, then click on here, done button. Right. Click on here. Done. It will be redirected to your Salesforce. And here what we have to do, just how to cross check whether the Slack platform connector was installed or not. See here, the Slack platform connector was 
successfully installed right the next next what we have to do just we have to go to the my domain right in the quick find box in the quick find box enter the my domain click on that my domain see this is your link just uh, copy paste this link just uh, copy paste this link copy paste to somewhere copy paste to somewhere that's it right it will be useful for the next uh, step clear then then after in the bottom we have a verify step two and 100 points is then uh, click on that done so we successfully completed the first unit let's go for the next step right so prepare your slack uh, playground so first we need to verify just we can scroll down right so just we have to cross check your email id check this two check boxes click on here create a slack playground done it's created it's created next here we have a launch button is then click on that uh, launch right uh, so you will receive an uh, a verification code just uh, go and check your email done i entered uh, the verification code right uh, click on here i agree button click on here i agree button Just click on here, use Slack in your browser. Right, so here we have a launch Slack is then I click on that. Done. So next. What was the next step? Right after this part is complete, right? I'll request a connection to Salesforce. Request a connection to Salesforce. Right. So just how to go to your workspace. And this is your uh, name of the workspace. Just click on here. And here we have a uh, tools and settings. Under the tools and settings, we have a uh, manage Salesforce uh, organizations. Click on that uh, manage Salesforce organizations. Then top right we have a connect Salesforce org. Connect a Salesforce org. Click on that connect Salesforce org. So here you have to enter the domain. Right. So what was the domain we collected earlier? This one. Copy. Then paste it here. Then paste it here. Right. Next what we have to do. Right. So we need to uncheck this. Okay. Now come here uncheck this checkbox map users automatically uncheck this then after so click on here request connection request a connection click on that request connection then click on here okay that's it that's it for this unit
that's it for this unit right and now you can verify this step done we successfully completed second unit also right now next you can go to the next step right so from the setup in the quick find box search for selector manage slack connection right so in your salesforce org left side under the quick find box right so manager slack connection click on that manage slack connection right so just to how to agree these uh, terms and conditions then click on here approve then click on here approve we got a request now just we are appro approving that uh, request done right uh. Okay, so that's it, right? So now check this uh, step. Yes, completed. Now, next we can go to the final four step. So activate the connection in Slack. Activate the connection in Slack. Right, so workspace, tool settings, and manage Salesforce organization. Right, so just how to go to your workspace. Right, so workspace, tools and settings, manage Salesforce organizations. Manage Salesforce organizations. Right, uh, see here, you will see this. Right, uh, you will see this. Then here we have a, okay. Right, uh, view details, then activate, activate, right. Now click on here, view details. Click on view details. Here we have a ready to activate. Activate button is there now. Click on that activate button. Then one second, click on here, activate. So we are activating this connection. done right so now go to the next step so under the users add individually okay then search for you right so your username then okay done now see here the next next we have a users uh, tab is there now click on that users tab click on here add individually here you have to find out uh, your name right so this one right just to how to enter uh, your first uh, uh, words of your username just uh, you will get uh, your information then you can select got it and then after here grant access to one person is there now just to click on this done now now we can go to the next step so sign your slack user into salesforce on the slack right head back to the okay Okay, right. See here, just click on here workspace, right? You will see your account. Just click on this, right? Open in Slack. Open in Slack. Then you will get this screen. You will get this screen. See here, sign into Salesforce, right? So we have a sign into Salesforce. Click on that sign into Salesforce. Then, so just you have to verify this is your org or not. Then after click on here, continue. Right, so just how to check your username once again, then click on here, continue to Salesforce. Right, so next what we have to do, so here you have to enter your username and password. Just enter the username password, then click on here, login. Then after click on here, hello. That's it. Right, you successfully connected to your Salesforce account. Right, so now you can go to your challenge. 
that's it for this unit. Let me check and verify this one. Done. So successfully we connected a Slack to my Salesforce org, that is Agent Forcer org.